Hi, my name is Eloise, and thank you for joining us for this lesson on investigating geometry. One of our grade 10 learners will be helping us with our lesson today. In the previous lesson, we introduced the word conjecture. You might remember that a conjecture is a statement based on an opinion or an idea that seems to be true, but which has not yet been proved. We also showed you an example of someone making a conjecture. Let's have a look at it again. Hey, George. Hey. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm sir. good. What are you doing around here? I'm waiting for Ran first. Yeah. You know, we're supposed to have an audition inside, but it doesn't look like he's making it. Making conjectures is an important part of mathematics and science. It's through making and proving or disproving our conjectures that we increase our understanding of the world. So today we're going to explore conjectures a bit more. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to prove that the sum of the angles of any triangle is 180 degrees, plan a proof for it, write a paragraph proof, and participate in an investigation. Okay, Sharon, to get us started, here's an easy question. What is the sum of the angles of a triangle? 180 degrees. Right. If you add together all three angles of any triangle on a flat plane, you will get 180 degrees. But how do we know that it's true for every triangle? Maybe someone measured angles of lots and lots of triangles and came up with this conjecture. You mean some little old man spent his life sitting up every night drawing triangles while his little old wife brought him endless cups of coffee? That would be the problem with trying to prove a conjecture by testing it out on lots of different cases. It doesn't matter. You mean some little old man spent his life sitting up every night drawing triangles while his little old wife brought him endless cups of coffee? That would be the problem with trying to prove a conjecture by testing it out on lots of different cases. Sharon? 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 What? Glad to have you back with us. As I was saying, the problem with trying to prove a conjecture by testing it out on lots of different cases is this. It doesn't matter how many different triangles you show me, I can draw you another one that is different from all the others, either in size or in shape. Fortunately, there are other ways to prove this conjecture, and here's one way. Sharon, just in case you're still not quite with us, we're trying to prove that the sum of the angles in any triangle is 180 degrees. No, that's cool. I remember. Good. Let's take this triangle, TRI. First, we're going to find the midpoints of TI and RI like so. Then we label the midpoint of TI, A, and the midpoint of RI, N. And draw in the line segment AN joining these two midpoints. What we've just done here is called a construction. We've constructed AN, a line segment joining the midpoints of two sides. Now we're going to construct two perpendiculars, one from A to TR and one from N to TR. <laughs> Let's label this point G here and this point L. 
Okay, that's all the preparation done. Now watch this. We reflect this little triangle TAG over the line AG like this. Okay? Now we reflect triangle AIN over the line AN like this. And finally, we reflect triangle LRN over the line NL. And what can you see? All the corners fit together in a straight line. That's right. The three original vertices of triangle TRI meet and fit together perfectly on the straight line GL. So, let's call this point where they all meet E. And we know that adjacent angles on a straight line add up to? 180 degrees. Right. I'm sorry, but could you please go through that again quickly? It might be easier to show an animation of what we've just done. We started with a triangle TRI. Then we found the midpoints A and N. After that, we went on to construct the line AN. With perpendiculars from A and N to TR. And this is what happened when we reflected triangle TAG over AG and triangle LRN over NL. Triangle AIN over AN. Here at E, we can see that angles T, R and I form a straight line. So their sum is 180 degrees. Wow, I'm impressed. So we have used transformation geometry to prove a conjecture to be true. We did it using a physical model and we saw an animation that explained it. But a sketch or a model on its own wouldn't communicate the whole proof very well. We need to write down in words what we have done. We caught one or two learners passing notes to each other about this proof. Let's take a sneaky look to see if they get it right. What we want to write down is only those facts that we need for our proof. One of the easiest ways to write down a proof is simply to write a paragraph describing what was done. We call this a paragraph proof. So let's try to write a paragraph proof for our triangle conjecture. But before we start writing, let's do some careful planning. Let's list the key steps of our proof. We started with a triangle T R I. So let's make a note of that. Then we found the midpoints of these lines and joined them. We also constructed a line from each midpoint perpendicular to the line TR. Then we reflected each small triangle over the constructed lines so that they met at point E. So let's make a note of that. And finally, we used the fact that adjacent angles on a straight line are supplementary to prove that the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees.
Not too hard, huh? Now we are ready to write this into our paragraph by explaining our thinking in as much detail possible using mathematical terms. Let's have a look at how our note-passing learners did it. To prove that the sum of the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees, draw a triangle TRI. Mark off the midpoints of the two sides and label them. Then join the midpoints with a line. Draw a perpendicular line from each midpoint to the other side of the triangle. Now you've made three small triangles in the big one. Reflect each of them carefully by folding them over the lines you drew. They should meet nicely at a point on the third side of the triangle. Now you see that angle T, angle R, and angle I lie together on a straight line. So they must add up to 180 degrees. You could do this with any triangle, no matter how big its angles are. This proves that the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. You can use a combination of mathematical and normal language as long as every step is clearly and accurately explained. And as we saw when we took a sneaky look at Ranfus's note, you can probably improve on his paragraph, but it was a good start and Cindy understood what he was explaining. Let's see what happens next. Now, using your own triangles, you're going to try and come up with a different proof for the same conjecture. This conjecture about the sum of the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Use your mathematical thinking. Come up with your own ideas. Prove this in another way. That's quite a task. Let's see how they do. Using our spy cam, we are eavesdropping on the class. They have broken up into groups to work on their own proofs. See if you can identify the different ways each group used to prove that the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. And then I folded it in half so that if I add that angle over there, you plus see? this one, is equal to 180 degrees. Yes. Okay, let's so see what you're adding. What's the end of that proof going to be? That they, yes. they are equal to 180, both of them. Which is equal to 180? What? A and B. No. Wow. It's impossible. Yeah? Okay, um, or, or three. Okay, Samantha, tell us what you're doing now. Huh? Okay, this, this angle plus this angle is on a straight line, so that equals to 180 degrees. Okay. Samantha's so proof views an exterior angle of her triangle. She found that she could cut it into two parts that fitted into two of the inside angles of the triangle. She used what we know about angles on a straight line to complete her proof. Where's the thing that I had? Tandy's ideas are quite different from this. Let's have a look at what she has done. Where's the thing that I had? And then I just cut out those shapes, which are actually of those extensions, ma'am. Uh -huh. And then when I put them together, they actually make, they form a straight line. I mean, does that say that these angles inside here add up to 180? You're nearly there. Notice that Tandy has also used constructions and cutouts for her proof. She has used the vertically opposite angles of the vertices and shown that they all lie on a straight line. But I see here that Stubby's got another proof. Can we have a look at that? It's a basic isosceles triangle. Um, and we have joined two lines at the top. Stubby's proof is a bit different to the other two proofs. She used what she knew about the angles on parallel lines and triangles to find her proof. Because PQ is parallel to RS. Now let's see what some of their paragraph proofs look like. Okay, what have you come up with here? You've written your paragraph proofs now. Let's have a look. The paragraph proof that I wrote, okay, you have to draw a triangle with extended outside lines. Then you have to name the inner angles and the outer angles. Or, and then you have to cut out the extended or the outside shapes or angles. Then place them on a protractor so that um, they form or add up to 180 degrees. If the, out, if the outer angles form to add up to 180 degrees, then it means that the inner angles also add up to 180 degrees because they are vertically opposite. What's happening here? You've got some ideas. Okay, first of all, I said I wrote it down point form. My paragraph proof is a draw, draw angle A, B, C. The other groups also planned their proof and wrote a paragraph proof. 
I hope you got some ideas from watching those learners on conducting productive and fun group investigations. Sharon, how did you do today? I did pretty well. I think I learned a lot. Now I can prove that the sum of the angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. I can also plan and write a paragraph proof and I can participate in an investigation. Here is your task for today. I'd like you to prove that the sum of the angles of a rectangle is 360 degrees. Show a plan of your proof. Then describe your proof in a paragraph. Once you have written your paragraph proof, give it to somebody else in the class to read. That person must check. 1. Do I understand each step of the plan? 2. Do the steps in the plan match the steps followed in the paragraph and tell you what parts of the proof he thinks are not clear? <laughs> well, that's it for today. Until next time, goodbye from both of us. Cheers. Ha <laughs>